Today you'll learn the difference between homemade whiskey and commercially produced whiskey. <laughs> okay, so that's only a part of it. Really, uh, we're going to be talking about clear whiskey, also known as moonshine, and bourbon. Are you ready? Come on, let's go. I'm Pierre and welcome to Asti Wine Consultants. Now in this episode we're going to, to look at five different aspects of whiskey. To help us with our comparison I'm actually going to, to be talking about a specific whiskey from a, a leading producer. Uh, for the commercially produced whiskey we'll use a, a relatively new craft distillery, Varchus Distillers, located in the Detroit, Michigan area. They're making some outstanding bourbon. Uh, uh, now, now, for the moonshine or, or the, the white lightning, my, <laughs> my research comes from undisclosed locations and areas of Tennessee. Are you ready? Let's dive into this. Uh, first of all, what is whiskey? You might already know this, but uh, just so that we're all on the same page together, whiskey is any variety of distilled liquor that is made from a, a fermented mash of uh, uh, cereal grains and aged in wooden oak barrels. It has an ABV, uh, ABV is alcohol by, by volume, uh, it has an ABV of at least 40%. Also, whiskey that is spelled with an E refers to those distilled in Ireland and the United States. Whiskey that has no E refers to Scotch, Canadian, and Japanese grain spirits. Now, bourbon is a type of whiskey that is made from at least 51% uh, corn. So all bourbon is whiskey, but not all whiskey is bourbon. <laughs> Some additional trivia is bourbon originated in Bourbon County, Kentucky, and most bourbons are still produced in the state of Kentucky. Now, clear spirits, on the other hand, are any alcoholic beverage or liquor that has not been put in oak or aged. The lack of aging is the major reason why it's clear. Virtually all spirits start off as clear, even those that are produced commercially. However, moonshine and white lightning specifically are types of unaged spirits that are produced illicitly. <laughs> How are you doing there? Are you beginning to get a handle on bourbon whiskey and moonshine? If so, write Asti in the comments below. Now, now that we've covered the basics, let's dig a little deeper regarding production methods. While the product is unique, Varchus straight bourbon whiskey is made in the, in the classic method uh, from high quality grains using state of the art equipment and technology. They mill their grain into flour and, and convert it into a, a mash of about 60% corn, 36% 30 rye, and 4% uh, barley. That's then finished with water coming out of the Great Lakes. The mash is distilled two times in their hybrid pot stills to, to remove the, the uh, heads and the tails so that uh, the heart contains the desired alcohol with their delicious, unique flavor. Folks, when you hear all this, what uh, should stand out in your mind uh, is that they use carefully selected ingredients and professional distillation methods in order to produce consistent and refined flavors. In contrast, because moonshine and white lightning are typically illicitly produced in homemade stills or small scale uh, distillation setups, they typically lack high quality ingredients. Often the producers aren't even properly licensed and they may not follow safety standards. Now the third thing we'll look at is alcohol. The permitted alcohol by volume, usually seen on the bottle as ABV, differs by state. Generally speaking, for consumable spirits, uh, the legal limit is approximately 60% alcohol. Uh, some states, like California and Tennessee, permit 
uh, the sale of and distribution uh, at a at a higher alcohol level, say about seventy six percent, I believe. Now Everclear is a spirit that is ninety to ninety five percent alcohol and is not permitted to be sold in many states. A hundred percent alcohol can only be used for scientific and industrial purposes. Now, by, by the way. Something that confuses a lot of people is that there's a difference between ABV and the proof of a spirit. Typically, you'll find both the ABV and the proof on the bottle. Now, if you multiply the alcohol times two, that's the proof. That means a spirit with a 40% alcohol, ABV, is 80 proof. A spirit with 50% ABV is 100 proof. Now, moonshine and homemade spirits often have a high alcohol content, typically well above the legal limit for commercial production. They can range anywhere from 40% ABV to is, is uh, or actually much, much higher. <laughs> actually, the, moon's the, limit, the moonshine's the limit. Commercial spirits are typically distilled to specific legal limits to, to ensure safety and consistency in taste. Again, this bottle of Vargas is 45% alcohol or 90 proof. You know, they have a, a wide variety of products with various alcohol levels. Now, personally, I have about 20 different spirits in my cabinet. Most of them are between 40 and 50% ABV, although I have a couple that are 59 to 60%. That's 118 to 120 proof. Why there, there is both the ABV and proof on the bottle, actually, uh, that's a discussion for another day. Maybe you could, could do your own research on that and, and see where it leads you. Now, unless they're made really well, once you get above 50% ABV, alcohol, the, uh, the spirit begins to, to taste hot. It gives you a, a burning sensation. Some of us say... Drinking clear or silver moonshine is like biting a silver bullet. Oh, now our fourth category is aging. As I mentioned earlier, moonshine and white lightning are typically unaged, which means they don't spend time in wooden barrels. This lack of aging contributes to their, to their clear, slightly cloudy appearance. It's the clear color that comes from the lack of aging in wooden barrels. This is the reason why it's often called white lightning or white whiskey. Varchus has a patent, a four-year aging process in new charred oak barrels. The aging process is spot on for commercial spirits. Most are aged in wooden barrels. The aging imparts color, flavor, and uh, complexity to the final product. Varchus has a patented four-year aging process in new charred oak barrels. This aging process is spot-on for commercial spirits. Most are aged in wooden barrels. The aging imparts color, flavor, and complexity to the final product. With Vargas, aging has taken the, the spirit from clear to a, a honey gold color with aromas of of heavy caramel, vanilla, and some oak. Now, speaking of flavor, let's address that a little bit more. Now, as far as moonshine is concerned, the flavor and quality of the spirit can vary significantly and may really exhibit raw, unrefined characteristics. The taste can range anywhere from sweet to harsh to even fiery, depending on the, the production method and the ingredients used. Now here, the most common flavor notes include sweetness, corn, the different grains that are used, and uh, sometimes fruity or herbal undertones. The lack of aging in barrel means it lacks the, the complexity and depth of, of traditionally aged spirits. Flavor attributes in whiskey can include sweetness, smokiness, a spiciness, and a range of fruit and uh, nut notes. One of, the unique th one of the unique things about Varch's bourbon is that 
Uh, they have uh, created a unique balance of sweet and spicy flavors that uh, is, is really alluring. Well, there you have it. Everything you need to know about moonshine versus bourbon whiskey. Ultimately, the specific characteristics of a moonshine and bourbon whiskey, like Varches, is defined by or determined by each individual distiller and their unique production process, so much so that moonshine can actually be made while following established distillation and aging practices. In other words, it's possible to produce a moonshine that can offer a wide variety of flavors and complexities. Let me ask you, have you ever had moonshine? If so, let me know in the comments and don't forget to, to check out Varches. Varches is made by a friend in Michigan. It really is a high quality choice. I'd appreciate it if you'd give it a try. Just click the link. Until next time, cheers. Hey Posse, thanks so much for investing the time to watch this video. I trust it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And please consider hitting subscribe. Also, click here to check out our new online shop. We have a great lineup of wine related items that will help you get the most out of your wine experience. Oh, and be sure to check out these other videos. Until next time, cheers.